all the ladies and gentlemen who helped President Ruto go into office. That is the basis of it. If you do remember what one President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta did, then what next for this 50 now who have nothing to hang on in President Ruto's government? This morning, all right? I'm joined by Daniel Obongo, who's a political commentator. How are you doing, sir? Good. good. Eh? Yeah, this morning. Yeah, it's a yes. good thing. You beat the, the traffic along Gatanga this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the cold weather as well. And the cold yeah, weather, isn't it? Uh, Nairobi yeah. in July is, is terrible. Yeah. 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 Happy, happy to have you around. <laughs> yeah. All right. For the sake of the conversation, I also want to introduce Dantona Kitumbini, who's a governor's expert. Danton, how are you doing? <laughs> all right, all right. Happy to have you around, isn't it? And then, so finally, nice. then, we do have um betty adero with us this morning how are you doing betty i'm good i'm good glad to be here it's been a while since it's i was while, here wasn't it? yeah fantastic karibu sana thank you all right and betty i did um introduce you last for this specific reason we were talking you were a bit silent and i'm gonna open you up to this conversation let's let's begin from where it is betty majority of kenyans would know that it has been not a year for President Ruto in office. The promise for President Ruto was quite clear. I am going to fix it. Every other person who speaks around President William Ruto is like, those guys did it wrong. We are going to fix it from expenditure, from borrowing, from governance, from every other thing that's going to happen in this government, Betty. We were treated to 50 CAS's in office. We're going to look at exactly what every CAS was going to take home, even including the new review by SRC in, a, in essentially how much they were going to earn. Let me begin from there. Maybe this didn't come out clear. In his right mind, why would President William Ruto present 50 chief administrative secretaries to Kenyans. Turn around and tell them, we do not have money, we're gonna spend thin, we're not gonna borrow, we're not even gonna borrow to pay salaries. Let's begin from now. Thank you very much. And uh, it's an honor yet again to be here on Look Up TV. So here is the issue. President Ruto is less than a year in power. That's a fact. It's a fact. The Kenya Kwanzaa government is less than a year in office. That's another fact. The mandate that majority of Kenyans gave them was for five years. We are barely into a year. All right? So that's a fact. Secondly, may it be known to all of us that when there is a transition government, the previous administration term ended. There was a new one that's starting its fresh five-year five term, all right? And when such a transition happens, even historically in Kenya, there are bound to be teething challenges. Uh, there's bound to be need to like pause, go back and just say, hey, this is what we promised. This is what we want to do differently in campaign. But this is now the reality, now that we, we sit in office. So that also must not be lost on, on Kenyans. Now, specific to the issue of the 50 CASs. Remember, before we promulgated the current constitution, the constitution of Kenya before that, made provisions for ministers. They were called ministers, if I recall. Mm -hmm. They were also called assistant ministers, yes. right? And the administration at that time, in their wisdom informed by the Kenyan context at that time, made the administration determine, you know, the, 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 the number of ministers, who they were, mainly they were from parliament, you had to have been a, an elected MP somewhere, right? Yes. To be a minister, to be assistant minister. Okay. And there were some ministries that had one assistant minister, there were some, you know, that had two or three, 
right? And into the last uh, term of the then late President Moy, there was an outcry still that how come there are so many assistant ministers at that time? There was that outcry. So my issue is that going back to history, this situation of CS, first of all, is not new. Let's take it from there. Just the immediate former administration introduced the position of CS. Unconstitutionally. The president has powers, really. Guided by the rule of the law. Guided the by the rule of law. Which is a constitution, basically. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we, we, don't, uh, we don't disagree to that. Yes. And the president, be it uh, uh, the current sitting president, didn't just wake up and say, so Kenyans, here's the list. There was a process by the Public Service Commission. True? True. There were advertisements. And a commission of public service on Kenya cannot advertise something that is illegal. That process went on. Kenyans submitted their, 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 their applications, those who felt they met the threshold. Uh, Shortlisting was done. Mm -hmm. All the names were like published publicly. Interviews were done. At some point, the process also stalled because there was a, a court process that was questioning the public participation, bit of it, right? Does it? Then it paused, then they fixed that, and then they came back, and the process continued. So President Ruto didn't just wake up from nowhere and said, okay, CSS, Johawa, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Now, the issue, in my view, according to this ruling, now, the ruling that came yesterday, is an issue between 23 and 27. The number 23 and, and 27. And basically, if, you, if, if I read it, my read of it is that um, there are issues to do with the number 50. Does it? Why 50? Why not? Why not 23? Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. And, 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 and to me, when I look at the current executive right now, yes, uh, cost of living is high for everybody everywhere, not just Kenya. And that is a matter that is actually being, being looked into, all right? But we are also asking the same government for efficiency, all right, in service delivery. We are also asking the same government for timeliness in service delivery. And it takes human beings to do these kinds of, of work. So when the president comes to Kenyans and say, hey, let me add pair of hands to the current CSS, C C CSS, CSS. Mm -hmm. to just help in service delivery and in uh, ensuring that the quality of service is actually given, given to Kenyans, and the mandate that they were given by the people does not lag behind. What is the problem? If 23, hold mm -hmm. on, yes. if 23 is not an issue, then why can't he be allowed to move forward with the 23? as the remaining 27 is being looked into. If it was a pub issue of public participation, mm -hmm. you know, that's not a problem. People can always go back and engage the thoughts of Kenyans and based on what the findings are, move forward. But one thing that I can say is that one, um, this is an administration that abides by the rule of law. But it Abide by the way. Yes. That's it. Wait. wait. Look, 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 look. Yes. The court stopped the CASs. Yes. But Did President Ruto tell them I in Guinea Kwama No. No, it, it, it paused. It, it didn't do that. What? It didn't do that. But even before the appointments, Betty, what was the biggest question? Even before we saw the fifty of them go to status for appointment. President Ruto was quite was quite aware that indeed there's a question and lingering around the appointment of CSS in this country. It wasn't even about the number by then. Yes, Kenyans went out on an outcry and said, what, well, we need 50 CSS. But the question was on the legality of the CSS who are going to our office. You would have liked to think, Dan, 